evening, ladies and gents. Well, I've done some work on the special weapons Dalek today, quite a lot of work. So let's take a quick look at what I've done. I'll just uh, fiddle around with the settings of the camera here because it's <laughs> the, the light has automatically come on and it's quite bright. Um, but I'm, I think we might be just be able to get a decent look here. Now, as you can see, I've started weathering this and painting it. So let's start with the top uh, helmet section here. As you can see, I've weathered it around here. So we can see the like like sort of black grime and muck that's built up. And um and I've weathered, I've like brushed it back so the gold is showing still showing through. I've done the same thing with the head section. You may remember that uh recast this and uh, clear resin so the eyes light up you can just see them sort of glowing there and then fading out there we go but the main piece uh, of painting has all took place on the mid sections here i'm fully finished yet but um i'm very happy with the, the stage it's at the moment so what what i did here is i painted this section white obviously these sections gold then i went over it with my airbrush um with black and then rubbed it off with my finger in various places and left it in others so it's like obviously in in the, the deep crevices there you can have the build up of dirt and black so as you go around there you can see all the build up in, in the corners and everything especially in places like this right in the corners There we go. And also, I've done some like some running grime coming down from the, the rivets around here and coming running down into the crevices around the, the centre band there. You see, that's just running down. I'm not 100% happy with those yet, so I may change those. Um, and then obviously you've got the overspray of the black, which just, just adds that nice little effect around here as well. Sort of like soot and muck and dust and grime built build up, and it sort of mixes with the, the 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 brown streaking grime that I have as well. So it just sort of adds more layers layers to the effect, to the effect of the paint. And obviously, I haven't done the gun yet. I've I've been sanding off all the paint, um, and it'll probably be, it'll look more or less the same as this. But you can see here that I've. You can see where I've sort of rubbed in the black paint around there and stuff. The, the, the light is sort of dry, um, bleaching a lot of this out, but you can sort of see it where I've rubbed it in. And it, it, because you, you because you're rubbing the black paint in, it goes into all the scratches and and things that I've put in on purpose while um, sanding the paint. It's just so it looks like damage, really. Um. So yeah, and it's a kind of a mixture of the the special weapons Dalek scene in the classic series and uh, the new series. Um, so it's 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 a cro it's a nice cro a bridge between each one. Um, so yeah, I'm very pleased. So we to re quickly to recap, we've got the light up clear resin head, which is a modification of mine. Um, we've got the repainted dome and. The repainted mid sections, all with weathering now. Um, important thing is with weathering is not to go too far, no wink to stop, because it is very easy to go over the top with it. Um, so I might leave it there, or I might go a little bit further. I don't know, but we'll see. But the next stage is going to be the gun. I'm going to paint the gun next before I finally tackle the horrible bottom section. Which was my first. It's it's actually if, if if I bring the camera back, you can see the top section is my attempt now, and the bottom section is my attempt over fifteen years ago. So you can see there's a a marked step up in quality of how I've how I've come along in all those years. I quite like the the, the flickering. Of the uh, of the eyes there, very really good. So as I say, you can see the how I've come along. 
it does look better in the uh, to the eye. It's the camera on this phone is bleaching out a lot of the details. It's very difficult, but I needed the light on to show you because if I, if I turn this light off, it it these midsections just look black, which to be fair does that that's how it looks on the prop. But I wanted you to see the the contrast between the gold and the black, so you can actually see the weathering going on. So there we go, all coming along rather nicely. There we go. So that being said, I am off. And oh, actually, and Paul is still here. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I'm off, and um, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.